Well, I'm here with pro cosplayer Anemia. So, Anemia, tell me a little bit about the outfit that you're wearing right now. Okay, um, I'm actually a Castanic from the game Terra. Um, it's kind of like an elf uh, race that they've got on this MMO. Uh, and so what it is, is it's a full plate armor. So um, all of this is made out of Wonderflex um, with a little bit of uh, the, the craft foam in some of the places where it needs to be a little bit less stiff. Um, and then part of like a bathing suit and um, this was part of a scarf. And just kind of taking found objects, made objects, putting them all together and, and making a costume, so. Awesome. Now, uh, when you go about creating a costume like this, especially with armor, do you prefer Wonderflex or is that something that... Uh... Uh, I usually prefer Wonderflex just because you can really get it to, to be sturdy. Um, what I found is walking through cons, if you have something that's a little less sturdy, it just tends to get broken, especially at big ones like New York Comic Con. Um, so something that's sturdy and isn't going to break and can take a little bit of abuse is, is really good for me. Awesome. And now, what other outfits did you wear this weekend? Um, I was Dr. and Mrs. the Monarch from Venture Brothers. It was the uh, cheerleader outfit that she wears in Season 4. Um, and then yesterday, I was Supergirl. The classic Supergirl with like the, the two-piece two with the skirt and the top and the cape. <laughs> nice. Now, uh, when you go about choosing a cosplay to do, do you, what influences you? Why, why do you choose the cosplays that you do? Um, for me, it's it's either a character that I've already seen the anime or the movie or played the game, and I really like that character, and it's just kind of, you know, one that I I have to be that character. Or, you know, sometimes it's ones that my friends or people will recommend to me, and then I'll take a look at the character, and I'm like, that's kind of cool. And then I'll, I'll go and I'll actually, like, research it by, by looking up the character and watching if it's from an anime, watching the anime. And then if I like the character, then I'm like, why not? <laughs> Absolutely. So... Um, what would you say has been one of the most complicated costumes you've worked on so far? I would say this one. This one is, has been really kind of crazy because it's fully constructed out of Wonderflex, which is the first time I've ever done something like that. Plus the logistics of it, it's just kind of crazy. Um, you know, working on armor, it's so complicated because there's so many different parts to it and things that need to move and parts that need to be able to work with your body when you're walking. So for me, this one was just a lot of different materials I hadn't really worked with and in new different ways, so. And now I know that you've been a judge at a number of uh, conventions and a number of costume contests. Uh, what can you tell people as a judge that you're looking for when you are judging? Um, you know, I'm when it's craftsmanship, I'm really looking for, um, you know, clean seams, straight lines, you know, things that show that you've, you know, excelled in learning how to sew and, and trying to get it, you know, to look as professional as possible. Um, I also love looking for creative costumes. I love when people do creative takes on characters or are able to figure out a way to make something in a completely different way. Like I've seen people using oatmeal boxes as the basis for hats and for the basis of part of their costume. So creative ideas like that uh, really get to me and I find it, uh, I, I tend to really like those a lot, lot more. So. And the question that we are asking everyone at New York Comic Con is, who is your favorite female superhero and why? I know it's, it's tough to spring that on you. Yeah. I've always been a big fan of Rogue from X-Men. Um, just her story is so complex. It's so, you know, starting off as a runaway and then actually, you know, being with the bad guys for a while and then switching over to the good and having to integrate with them and how that worked out and then her relationships are just a mess. And it's just, she's a very fun character to see her progress in time through all the comics, so. Right. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Animia. Thank you for having me. Thank you.